Hello, today I'm going to show you how we hook up a basic portable sound system from Gecko. In this setup, I'm going to use the Gecko Exodus Atom MXR808A 8-channel active mixing console as an example. Before you power up the system, make sure that you have the correct voltage selected. First selection is 230 volt. This selection is for countries with power supply of 220 to 250 volt at 50 to 60 hertz frequency cycle. If you are working in a region with power supply of 110 to 120, you can then select this switch to 115 volt setting. First thing that you need to do is to put those two speakers on the speaker stand. What we need to do now is to set this stand so that the speaker position is slightly above my head. So I'm going to take the second set of stand to so check if they got the same stand width. Now I'm gonna set this at the highest possible stand position that I can find. Secure this stand. Put this speaker apart so that we have clear stereo positioning for the speakers. Now we're going to put up this speaker now onto the stand. Now make sure when you put this speaker on the stand, make sure that you have this logo where the woofer is seated in on the inward of the stereo image. Next, let's connect the speaker to the system. First, let's insert this speaker on connector into this speaker out connection. Insert it, twist until you hear a click. Do the same at the back of the speaker. You can use either one of these connectors. Let's connect the second speaker to the system now. Same thing, insert the speaker on and twist to the right until you hear a click. Let's do the same to the speaker. Now, as I said earlier, you can choose either one of these because they are hooked in parallel.
It's time to power up the system. Before you connect your audio sources to the system, make sure that your stereo EQ here and your channel strip EQ are set flat, meaning to say there is no boosting or cutting of frequencies. This is to ensure the most natural sound from your sources are being reproduced by the system. The Gecko Exodus Atom MXR808A is being designed for the most natural sound reproduction. Now it's time to connect our audio source to the system. First, bring the stereo main left and right and set it to 0 dB position. Now, let's connect the microphone. In this video, I will use the Passion MP830 as an example. The microphone cable is made up of a balance connection. This connection is called the XLR connection. I will connect now this to one of this channel on the missing console. Firstly, make sure that the gain is set at the most minimum position. Switch on this mic and we speak to it. As we are speaking to this through this microphone, we slowly increase the volume on the fader until we hear the desired volume. If in such case that we do not get enough volume, when this fader reach zero position, we can then from here slowly increase the gain. And it's because I've set this microphone at an optimized level. For example, I'm able to achieve this loudness with very minimum gain setting. I now don't have to worry about feedback issue. I can now speak right in front of the speakers without getting any howling or feedbacks. If you have musical source such as the iPad. We can use a Y cable to connect them. First, let's connect the left and the right channel to two of the input channels on the missing console. Let's connect the left to channel 3 and connect the right to channel 4. Start off by playing the music on your audio device. Now, bring up the volume faders gradually on your missing console until you reach your desired volume. You can also connect your musical instruments such as keyboards, guitar, using the same reference method as explained earlier. Thank you for watching.